G'day guys, Brian here, and this afternoon I am talking transducers, and in particular, the three-in-one transducer, which very common, popular, most people got them these days. I think this one's attached to an FS9, uh, and it's not reading bottom at speed. Now, this one's a pretty straightforward diagnosis, so we can get a better picture moving forward, but I will show you a couple of little tips that I use setting up these transducers. Now, I've got my level on the bottom of the boat. There's no planing strakes in front, for starters. If I look down the hull, there's nothing to create turbulence on this plate boat. That's one thing. This transducer is set high. I've got the level on the bottom of the boat and it's touching the bottom of the transducer. So that's how it's been set. So once it runs up to speed on the plane, too much air is getting under this transducer. Another reason we lose bottom, if this was slightly deeper, Having the back end of this transducer a little high does cause turbulence. So if we can see, so you can see my finger where my hand is moving there, there's a gap there at the back and it tightens up at the front. So that creates water hits at the front and as it moves through, it creates an air bubble where my hand is moving. So that creates turbulence as well. So having this transducer just dropped a little bit at the rear uh, it's almost, you, you might even think, oh yeah, it, it needs to come up because it's gone another click. But try that because it stops that turbulence hitting the front edge and creating the air bubbles through there. Just by dropping that back another click, you'll eliminate a lot of problems. I'm going to adjust this one and show you where I start off before water testing. Let's get this done. All right, welcome back. Fast forward there. I've dropped this transducer and dropped the rear end a little. So... Easiest way for me to think of how I, my starting point with a three-in-one transducer is they have a, a material change here. There's a hard plastic and then it moves into the transducer. That line there of the hard plastic, I'll start with as the bottom of the boat. It's a great starting point. So this one here is where I want it to get started. Camera angle isn't quite right there, but trust me, that's where I want it. And it's a little dropped in the back, which is also where I want it. So that's a good, it's a great starting point, but uh, feel confident to play with your transducer a little bit. So this boat now, as a, just setting it up like that, with where we've got it, hull placement, etc., we should be reading the bottom, say running up the broad water, at 20 to 25 knots, you should have bottom reading. Not so much when you get into the deeper water and, and identifying reefs, you've got to slow down, but you should be reading bottom at a good 20 knots easily just with it set up correctly and then there is some fine tuning to do so mark where you've got it feel confident to to tamper with it and try different things different heights every hull is different so um this one is ready for water testing which is the fun part so cheers guys hope that helps